going to play some Resident Evil 1, and then we're going to play all the rest of the Resident Evils after, I think. But you always have to start with one. Uh, this one came out in what I think is 96, based off of the dates below. Uh, I probably haven't played it since 96, which would have made me 13 years old and young and impressionable. I probably have no Resident real idea Evil. of what the hell all I did back then. Uh, this is about the third time I've tried to record the game and redo this. Uh, I'm having a hell of a day recording this first episode with all sorts of other shit going on, too. So, these are fun questions, by the way. So, I'm picking normal. That means normal. Uh, so, about the first chunk of things you're about to see me do is only because I've done them like five times now already. And from there, away we'll go. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims yum, 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 yum. were apparently eaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. This looks good, yet shitty at the same time. Like, Jill's eyes look dead inside. But overall, like, the remake looks nice. Cranky dogs in action. Also, I'm not gonna do it again because I forgot how. If you don't specifically save the game, it just dumps it back out. Even though I vaguely knew the truth. One of my many attempts this morning, I went to reopen the front door of the uh, mansion. I was gonna say museum. Went to open the front door of the museum. God damn it, <laughs> mansion. And when you open it this time, the dogs run in. And you actually have to kill the dog or else it kills you. I died pretty fast. And I distinctly don't remember that. I thought the old ones, when you open the front door, uh, the dogs would just, like, attack the door. And you could slam their little head in it and close it and lock them out. But that's no longer the way the game plays. There are only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. Myself, because you didn't pick Chris. He's on the loading screen still, or the character select screen. What is this place? Like overall, they look nice. Like the people look nice. Not quite your ordinary house. The background is very sure. flat still. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find. What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> a 
dining room. Wow. I guess I'm not going to use it yet. There's a typewriter back there. I think I'm going to screw around before it's when I die and didn't realize I should save right away just to be on the safe side. Blood. Splooty blood. It's delicious. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Like when it's double, when it's S apostrophe S. I'm gonna embarrass myself right now. Can I take the crest yet? Cool, I can. Okay. Um, I feel like when you apostrophe S the S, I feel like you're supposed to drop that second S or else it looks silly. Or my seconds backwards. I thought that was the rule. Everyone's favorite part, here it comes. Look, it's the bite of 96. I'm so funny. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's joke. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Shoot the thing. Let me take care of it! For reasons unbeknownst to me. Not going for the headshots, but... Whatever. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. So probably no reason to. But wow, look at all these failed, failed attempts. Actually, forget one little tiny piece of what I did a bunch of times already, so it might be a little questionable part shortly. Wesker! We should be fine. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. I like how. So for now, they before they let me roam free and make mistakes, they kind of lock you into that thing. Barry. Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. What I'll a plan. Investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lock pick. You'd make better use of it. So that's one of the two lines that Thanks. I feel like they took out of the Listen, remake. Because isn't that where the you, Jill, the master of lockpicking thing comes from? Got it? Okay. I thought so. I could be wrong. Okay, so so far. Watch this speedrun skill. Remember the shiny things in there. Let's watch the. Nope. So I have the alternate controls turned on. That's not as like tanky as the old game used to be. I still don't necessarily feel the best. Just as a. Point of reference here, but they feel better. If you watch everything I learned so far, now I come back here. Can't steer because the controls still throw me off.
take a dagger because now So I know if I do this. Now we get out. Okay, so I need to try to remember the next steps here. Uh it is this way. So I feel like nothing major is going to happen that I can't handle for the next, let's call it 15 minutes. So like the asshole that I am, I'm not going to save the game yet. I think ribbons are limited in supply. They seem a little more favorable on normal difficulty, but they are limited. Thanks for the tape. This is the closest to a speed run that I'll ever be able to do in a game, probably. Other than like a, other than like a Bioshock. Also, there's probably smarter people out there than me. They're probably watching this going, it's not the right path you're supposed to take first. You're supposed to go the other way and blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know any better. I stumbled around many times today. Many times. I think that should be death. Okay. Feel a sweet mirror tech in this place. So we take the golden arrow, and then the trick that I didn't know. So point some point, you guys are doing things where like I never thought about the fact that you have to check the item to break it because we're about to go to outside-ish somewhere. There's one more thing you're supposed to do back here. Trying to be tricky, huh? That's how you murder a motherfucker.
it's now. Down here somewhere. So this is the part that pissed me the fuck off before. The first time. Because it says, there's a picture of an angel and there's an indentation of an arrowhead. And I'm like, yeah, there is. Okay, there's an arrow, arrowhead, put it on, do whatever you gotta do, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't figure out how to actually break it off for enough minutes. that I, had, I cheated and eventually got there, but it's kind of stupid. And then I realized that I probably have to check more items. Anything major I pick up, I need to check. I did not remember that from... Like I said, the last time I played this was 27 years ago, so a little slow. Thanks for hanging out and watching me play Resident Evil. There's a bunch of other videos here to check out, plus we're going to play through the whole series starting here. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, thanks. I'm a robot placeholder because Toby forgot to record this for real at this point, ha ha ha.